Again, they're going a mile. Purse, $515,625. And it's a strong field here, Bruce. And let's go back to the complete field and the post-time odds. Super Hoot, number one, has made over 136000 this year simply by showing up. His good attendance could help him get some more of the cash for co-owners McDuffie and Shadow Lane Farms. Giant hit, third in the Hambo, World Trotting Derby, and the Kentucky Futurity. Eight for 19 on the board this year, two to five, the public's choice. And Gary, what about King Pine? King Pine, well, he's been a hard luck story all season long for his connections. He's a half-brother to world champion Pine Chip, but I think you're going to see a better performance from him tonight. And abundance, five to two, eight wins, eight breaks this year. This took place earlier tonight. The three-year-old Cole Trot of the Cadillac Breeders' Crown, Frank Salib, the track announcer, had the call. Here they come. They're off and trotting on a break on the far outside was Dr. Fave. Delridge Image is leaving, so is Abundance. Giant hit in the middle, and Titus to the inside. Speed Monster goes off stride. Giant hit on the outside. Abundance, Delridge Image, widest of all. Super Hoot is through to be in fourth. Armbro Norbert is fifth. Meadow Branch Jersey away in sixth, then four Barrents. King Pine, Speed Monster is off stride. Dr. Fave is the distance trailer. Delridge Image on the outside. Giant hit on the inside. Abundance got in from third. Three more. Four lengths to Super Hoot in fourth, then five more to Armbro Norbert in fifth, then Meadow Branch Jersey sixth. The quarter was a very fast, 27 and three. Giant hit has got the lead. He's being prompted along by a very stubborn Delridge image in abundance. Under a firm rein is right there in third, and Super Hoot is fourth. Ten more lengths now to Armbro Norbert back in fifth. King Pine starting up on his outside sixth. On his back is four Barons from seventh, then Meadow Branch Jersey, Doctor Fabe, and the distance trailer speed monster they pass the half in 57 seconds delridge image took over the lead and abundance attacks him and goes to the top now and abundance is the third new leader for o'donnell and is drawing away on the field on the way to the last turn abundance sat prudently behind all of the early speed he's open five delridge image is off stride giant hit re-inheriting second super hoot is third king pine is fourth off stride from fifth on the outside was four barons now coming on to be in theft as Meadow Branch Jersey and the three-quarter time was 126 and 2. They're into the stretch in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot of 1995. Abundance is trying to close it out. King Pine is stalking him with every stride and closing in. Abundance. King Pine is closing in. It's going to be tight down to the finish. Abundance and King Pine. Abundance for O'Donnell gets there by three-quarters of a length over King King Pine, Super Hoot was third. The favorite giant hit has to settle for fourth. It's a mile in 158. And the victory for Abundance. Abundance, your race winner, owned by Richard and John Ducharme. Trained and bred by John Ducharme. Driven to victory by Billy O'Donnell. Bruce second in the Yonkers Trot Final, second in the Hamiltonian. Finally, Abundance gets the job done tonight with a magic man, Bill O'Donnell in the Sulky. And there's a look at the prices. Time of the mile, 158. Abundance, the three-year-old Bay Colt by Armbro Gold out of the Neville Pride Mare, Soto Voce. A look at the presentation for the Cadillac Breeders' Crown. The three-year-old Colt Trot for Billy O'Donnell, his 13th Breeders' Crown victory.